15th, 20th, and 21st. Lots of stuff going on this weekend, and I just kind of hit the highlights of the things that stuck out to me. So like I said, there's actually a lot going on in this weekend. Um, found a few fundraisers. Uh, the 4th Annual Southeast Social, the 4th Annual Bike to Build, both those are going to be up in Cleveland. Down in Georgia and Chickamauga, the Center for Hope's Nigro Bike for Hope, that's their first year doing that. The Museum 2013 to support Creative uh, Discovery Museum, that's going on. Right at the First Tennessee Pavilion, they'll have the Craft Beer Festival. And then uh, Camp Jordan, there's Bugapalooza. And then over in Pikeville, they're going to have the Homegrown and Handmade Gourd Festival. So let's check them out right here. Bugapalooza, it's the 15th year they're doing this. It started all the way back in 1999. And it started out really small in the dealer in the parking lot of one of the dealerships there and it's grown to take over camp jordan for two days over 300 cars 70 vendors showed up last year every year it gets bigger so i don't see any reason why it won't do the same this year so i mean it's four dollars it's pet friendly you see some outrageous vw bugs it's a really neat thing to see family friendly it's a lot of fun so go check that out if you're near camp jordan this weekend over in pikeville the tennessee volunteer gourd society it hosts the, the region's largest gourd festival. So it's the sixth year they've done this. It's really kind of sounds like a really interesting thing. Um, they're going to have craftsmen, growers, and artists on hand, j both just showing what they do, selling some items, but also some workshops and demonstrations where you can get your hands in there and do some gourd art and craftsmanship yourself, talk about growing gourds, and, and a bunch of different things. So sounds like it's going to be a really neat event and a lot of fun. So go check that out if you're over in the Valley region near Pikeville. Uh, near and dear to my heart, the Chattanooga Beer Festival, Chattanooga Crafted Beer Festival. It's going to be a number of breweries. I think I heard over 30. This is all part of Beer Week. So there's several events going on this week around the Beer Festival. Um, at the event, there's going to be a couple different bands that are playing. And it goes on Saturday, starts at noon at the Tennessee Pavilion. They'll start scanning tickets at 11 o'clock. Gates open at 12, and you've got till 5 o'clock to sample this beer. If you're going to drink, it's going to cost you $45, and you get a tulip glass to, uh, to, sample your, to sample the beer in. And there'll be the food trucks will be on hand. Like I said, there'll be music, lots of different activities. If you're going and you're just going to be a designated driver, it's only $20. There'll be some snacks and different things on hand for you. Now, a couple things with this. It's not pet friendly. It's not kid friendly. In fact, no one under 21 can get in. So don't bring your 19-year-old or 20-year-old child or cousin or nephew and think that they're going to be able to drive you home. Everybody that goes in there's the gate has to be 21. Like I said, it's not pet friendly or kid friendly. So... Uh, get a babysitter, take care of that four-legged friend, and, and get all that set up before you go. Sounds like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. It's going to be, again, at First Tennessee Pavilion starting at noon tomorrow. If you enjoy the Creative Discovery Museum, um, I don't even know why I say if. I don't see how you couldn't. It's a really neat place. But uh, if you support what they do and you want to help them out, they're having what they claim the self-proclaimed best fundraising party in town. It's gonna it sounds like it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Usually this is held in March, but this year it's gonna be on tomorrow, April the twentieth, starting at seven, going to eleven. Lots of things going on. It's described as a, a party, an adult party that benefits the kids. So go check that out tomorrow at the Creative Discovery Museum. Also tomorrow, if you're in the mood to get out there and do a bike ride and you want to help somebody while you're doing it, the Center for Hope, they're having their inaugural Bike for Hope down in Chickamauga at the Scenic Mountain Cove Farm. This is a great organization. They have a great mission. And um, this is their, their first year doing this. Registration is at 8. Help these guys out if you ride anyways. Check it out. You'll enjoy it. On the same thread, uh, this is, I think, the fourth annual Bike to Build for Cleveland's Habitat for Humanity. Hey, guys, these guys put on an amazing event. It's um, well done. The routes are laid out well. This year, there's a 20K, 50K, and 100K route. Really neat event. Just just so well done. Um, everything that's raised goes to support the goal of building two Habitat homes this year. Toyota of Cleveland chipped in a huge sponsorship there. That way, all the proceeds could go to support it. It's going to be a whole lot of fun. The atmosphere there is always great. With, with the routes being 20K, 50K, or 100K, all level of riders can enjoy it. They've got two celebrity riders, um, Hector Picard and Saul Ra Risen, I believe is how you say his name. Hey, guys, these stories are really neat. If you go to this website, which is just the habitatofcleveland.org, 
look for Bike to Build. You can click on their websites and hear their stories. Truly amazing stories. So check it out. Habitat for Humanity at Cleveland tomorrow. Registration starts at 6 a.m. Um, so get out early and go see what they're doing. And like I said, it's just a whole lot of fun. And um, finally, the Land Trust of Tennessee or Land Trust for Tennessee, they do a great job of supporting um, cons conservation and stewardship of land in Tennessee. They've got over 84,000 acres that they're helping to protect right here in Tennessee. They're having their annual Southeast Social um, it's going to be a dinner. It's being hosted at Bendabout Farms down on the Johnson Family Farms down there in Cleveland. Uh, the honorary chair is Robert Johnston, so it's going to be a neat event. Starts at 5:30 with some cocktails um, being mixed by our areas. Some of our areas' best mixologists, local artists, will be on hand showing off their um, their creations. At seven o'clock, starts a dinner that comes from locally sourced foods. After dinner, there's music starting at 8:30. So. Really good event. You can get your tickets right here uh, on the site. They're $100 a piece. Goes to a great cause. So if you're looking for something like that, that's available too. So again, that's just a super quick wrap up of the things that we found that we thought were interesting to do this weekend. If you want to just go to one place, go to mchguide.com and just click over here on Chattanooga to do. It'll take you right to this page. So hope you find this useful. Maybe we'll run into you at one of them. Have a good weekend.